Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix uh, to multiple problems that you might have with your iPod Touch fourth generation. And I'm making the I'm only making these videos because I couldn't find any of my that were actually really useful, and none that were like specified to the iPod Touch fourth generation or those older generations. Well, anyway, what you, so the first problem I'm going to do is where it says cannot connect to iTunes Store, and I don't mean like the iTunes Store. I'm talking about when you go into the App Store, try download an app, it says cannot connect to iTunes Store. Um, I already fixed the problem, but I'm going to show you guys how I fix, how I had it. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to, I'm going to show you two ways, because otherwise, all the other ways, you, they only really work on uh, phones. So you go to general, and then you go to date and time. A lot of videos say this, but you're going to make sure that set automatically is on. That, and then, if that doesn't work, then the, un the other way that I found helpful was if you go to also general, then you go to reset, and then you press, and then you'll see reset network settings. Now, as you can see, it says reset all settings. That doesn't do anything. Erase all content settings. Now, that will destroy everything, and will delete everything that's on this iPod. And all this other stuff you don't gotta worry about if you click that. But as you can see, what it says reset home screen layout, reset location and privacy, reset keyboard and dictionary. And then, but reset network setting, I'm not gonna click it because I already did. But if you click that, it's gonna delete all the information about your Wi Fi password, which means that if you had like a Wi Fi where it automatically connects to your Wi Fi, if you press that, then it will forget that and you have to re enter the password to the Wi Fi before. Before, other, uh, otherwise it won't remember the password that's what worked for me because the th weird thing was that at first I did date and time and then it worked for about a day and then it didn't and then I did reset and that worked so anyway yeah so those are the two ways you can fix this and the second problem I want to do and I'm going to do one on weather later because for some reason weather just doesn't work and just stays like that and I'm not in Cupertino I just I don't See what I'm saying? Local weather and loan location, even though I have location services on. Um, yeah, it don't, it, don't, it don't work. So it only has Cupertino in New York, which is already set on here. So of course that doesn't work. And um, yeah, um, and also for some reason my jailbreak, Z jailbreak barely works. City didn't even load, and neither doesn't, doesn't, does, neither does iOS Ninja or those two, which is the only reason I download, and or nor this one. This thing's just for uh. To get Minecraft on it, and for some reason, it's actually a bookmark, but it goes to the website, and it never loads. I'm not sure if that's just a problem with my iPod. Oh, and I'm going to be doing a Nike Plus iPod review later, but, um, as you can see, there's these games. Jurassic Hopper, I still, I don't think it works. Doodle Jump, I got that one recently. It's at, I, did, I had doubts about it, but it's really fun. So, the second problem I'm going to be helping you guys with is when you're in settings and when and when you uh well well I I only heard this problem once and I just, I just want to put it out there that when you get when it asks for your up ID password it's not gonna do it now but if it does and and you get code like a verification code you just enter it after your password once the thing shows up because it just enter your up ID password and yeah and then after that the the code then you can press enter and so yeah and uh yeah this is my ipod and i might make a video later about how to get ibooks back installed on here this because i used to have it until it, i accidentally deleted it tried to restore the whole ipod which ruined the ipod just trying to get books ibooks back um uh, so yeah that, that was the problem with that so yeah la later i might do that and uh Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video.